The film you are about to see has no characters, it has no people. It is a film to describe to you and explain visually the effect of cymatic frequencies on texture, structure, water, oil. If you spare a little of your imagination as you watch this film as it runs, you will see many things that answer many questions. You will see living forms, living amoeba, almost animal-like creatures. You will see continents being formed, the earth itself coming into existence, explosions, eruptions, atomic explosions and bombs. You can see all this and watch it before your eyes. But anyth everything owes its existence solely and completely to sound. Sound is the factor which holds it together. Sound is the basis of form and shape. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. We are told that this is how the world began and how creation took shape. If we put that into the modern idiom and say that into the great voids of space came a sound and matter took shape. Please watch carefully. We can also use different shapes of plate. Here we have a triangular plate with a crystal attached to its underside and produce a sonorous fit. We change to a higher note and see a rather more complicated figure. This more elaborate figure, likewise on a steel plate, is also produced by vibration. The exciting crystal is attached to the upper corner of the plate. We use sand and lycopodium. The lycopodium moves to the center of the fields and takes up circular shapes. The sand forms the lines. Each material has its own special way of behaving. Lycopodium alone, a sonorous figure, transition to a mobile flowing phase, and back again to the figure. The sonorous figures represent stationary waves. But now we can also observe moving waves. Here the sand is flowing in a current. When the wavelengths are short, these currents produce a rotary effect. Areas become defined in which the particles are actually rotating.
Now we produce two notes with frequencies which are so related as to cause a beat. The note seems to throb and, by using the method we have chosen, this phenomenon of beat or interference can be rendered visible. The figure sways to and fro, the figure pulsates. The picture has changed completely. Now we are exciting fluids. Under vibration, a layer of turpentine forms a regular lattice work. In vibrating glycerin, we see continuous waves which form the queerest figures. And yet, the extraordinary things we see here are simply and solely the effect of vibration. Here is a sonorous figure shown in a fluid. There are some wave fields where there was nothing before. Where there was previously sand, now there is nothing to be seen. The dynamic phase has become the static phase. Wave fields which make the vibratory process in the plate indirectly visible. Here again, interference can be demonstrated. All these wave fields pulsate. Interference becomes visible. <laughs> 